Hey there, Louis Yacobelis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about some of the new Microsoft Teams features that were just announced at Microsoft Ignite 2021. Now, for those of you that don't know, Microsoft Ignite is an annual conference for IT professionals and developers where Microsoft showcases everything new, everything that's coming across all of their different products, including Microsoft Teams. Now, I'm not gonna be talking about all of the features that were announced for Microsoft Teams. I'm really gonna be focusing in on a couple of the new features that are coming that I believe your average end user are really going to benefit from. Let's go ahead and check them out. All right, so the first feature that I am super excited about is Microsoft Teams Meetings Dynamic View. Now, Dynamic View intelligently arranges the different elements of your meeting to provide an optimal viewing experience, okay? As people join, you're able to turn on video, start to speak, or to present right in the meeting, and Teams is going to automatically adjust and personalize your layout, okay? Uh, this is a really handy tool for when you're giving presentations in meetings, Right now, you only have the option to either share your screen and perhaps present your content that way, or to actually upload your PowerPoint file, if that's what you're working with, to the meeting uh, and navigate through your slides. So this dynamic view is going to really increase the effectiveness of your virtual presentations. I don't know about you, but I'm super excited about this. All right, the next feature that I'm super stoked for, again, in keeping with the themes of meetings, is the view switcher. Okay, so when this is released, when you click into the top left hand corner, this new icon here, you're going to be able to essentially control how you see meeting content. Okay, uh, perhaps you prefer to interact naturally with your colleagues without any kind of visual distractions. And so for that type of scenario, you might want to use Microsoft Teams together mode, which puts everybody together in some sort of virtual scenario. Okay. Alternatively, you will be able to use the gallery on top view, okay? What this is going to do is it's going to append all of the different video feeds at the top of your meeting window, making it easier for you to have uh, more contact with others, okay? And you'll also have the option to select focus, which hides all of the video feeds and puts the attention fully on the shared content, okay? Uh, full screen will also be available that can help remove other desktop distractions so essentially view switcher is going to give you the ability to kind of toggle between the different views in Teams meetings. I think this is awesome. Uh, I think that the current way meetings are held in Microsoft Teams is good, uh, but you can get boggled down with some distractions and this is going to allow you to have much more effective meetings. Let's go on and check out the next one. All right, the next feature that I am super excited about again with respect to microsoft teams meeting is the new revamped presenter mode okay essentially what microsoft has done here is they have added some features to allow you to create more standout presentations when you're in a microsoft teams meeting okay uh, now the presenter mode is going to essentially include some new options the first one is called standout the standout mode is going to show your video feed as a silhouette overlaid on top of your shared content, okay? So that's pretty cool. You'll actually be able to append yourself right over your content. The second mode is called reporter mode and that places the content as a visual aid above your shoulder, just like you would see your favorite news anchor on the news or your favorite reporter. And then the last feature that they're going to be adding into presenter mode is side by side, which allows you to display your video feed right next to your content. Again, I think this is genius. I think it's going to allow people to have much more effective meetings uh, and to present content in a much more meaningful way. Let's go ahead and let's check out the next feature. All right, and the last feature that I'm really excited about that was announced for Microsoft Teams is what's called Microsoft Teams Connect. Now, essentially what Microsoft Teams Connect is, is it allows you to share a specific channel of a team with anyone, okay? So that means you'll actually be able to extend access to one channel in a team to individuals outside of your organization. Now, the way Microsoft describes this is that, that the shared channel will actually appear within an individual's primary team's environment alongside all the other teams. So if I invite my colleague Joe, who has their own Microsoft Teams instance or Microsoft 365 environment, into a channel, he'll be able to access that one channel that exists inside my Microsoft Teams environment in his Microsoft Teams environment. 
Now this is really cool. This is sort of smaller external collaboration than perhaps inviting guests into a team that exists in your Microsoft Teams environment. Uh, it allows you to just really focus on a particular channel and to uh, have some cross collaboration between different organizations. I think this is gonna be really useful and I am super excited about it. All right, well, that was it. These are the Microsoft Teams features that were recently announced at Microsoft Ignite 2021 that I'm excited about that I think are gonna really make Microsoft Teams much more effective for your average end user. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like it. Please drop a comment below. I'm curious, do you think you're gonna like any of these features? Are there any other features that were announced at Ignite that you're excited about? And most importantly, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. As soon as these features are released, I'll be definitely dropping some tutorial videos. Subscribe, don't miss out. Talk to you soon.